guy bona ninaka kama bom 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 it's so easy to style so versatile you can walk down the aisle hey guys how you doing my name is patricia kihoro and welcome back to my channel now i know you guys are waiting for a vlog a travel vlog from france and it's coming <laughs> but it's just that i realized it's been exactly six months since i did the goals the 2018 goals get ready with me video and i thought it would be nice to just check in time is really flying don't you think like it's really ridiculous how quickly time is moving wow i don't know it feels like just the other day it was valentine's day next thing you know it's gonna be christmas we wish you a merry christmas anyway so i thought i would do the same thing sort of just like a get ready with me and also just tick off how my goals have been doing because i've also been getting questions of eh, how's it going aside from travel which you declared you want to do um what else is happening so i've listed them down i actually went back to watch the video and to be honest there's some things i was just like wow 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 this is an interesting place i was in and it's interesting to see what the progress has been or if i've you know fallen a few steps back and i'm also gonna try and do it a little bit faster because last time i realized that video was 34 minutes long i don't know how quickly i can do this makeup um but let me just talk about like my jewelry before i start these are earrings from guo studio they're brass earrings and she sent me a package that was so thoughtful i actually cried it was so beautiful and it was pieces that i loved all of them and just some neck pieces and earrings and thank you so much <laughs> to guo studio for the pieces they were beautiful Kama Kawaida, I am shooting close to the road. In fact, I'm even closer to the road now. So there'll be more sounds of cars, you know. Mukiskia, God is in a bigger honey, I'm a nini. Because I live in the damn CBD. <laughs> but it's cool. I don't mind, so I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. Of course, I have sued watches on me. I love this watch so much. It's a beaded cuff watch. The cuff and the watch are together. She designs watches as well. You'll see her branding here, sued. But she can also make um, cuffs which you can put your own watches into, which is dope. Of course, my rings, Kipato Unbranded, Maasai Market, Kipato Unbranded, Adele de Jacques, Maasai Market, Kipato. This is a cage bra that I got while I was was in Berlin last year but you can get a similar bra from Zonke culture here in Nairobi anyway let's get into it let me start my makeup as we talk about the goals that I set in 2018 let's start with the makeup I've been using this Garnier even in matte ideal complexion daily cream as my moisturizer and as my primer now the reason I've been using it as a primer is because when I first put it on this is for normal to oily skin and I feel like my skin is combination skin. So when I put this on, it left my face looking a little bit gray. It didn't like melt into it properly. And I was like, ah, why? It says it visibly even skin tone and it provides an eight hour shine free look. So I was like, hmm, well, if it is giving me this mattified look, Sana, how about I try using it as a primer? And guys, best decision ever. It looks kind of like cottage cheese. But then it goes on really well. I have my mirror right here, so I can do it. Um, and of course, before anything, I sprayed my face with this. The MAC Prep and Prime uh, Fix Plus spray. This is the best thing ever. On days when I don't do makeup, that's all I, that's all I spray. I put moisturizer and I spray that. So as you can see, it goes on a little gray. And it's like, ay, madam, 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 ee, I'm the see, 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 it is not for your skin, madam. I think I've said this before, like, I've never been one to trash a product. Like, if something doesn't quite work the way I expected it to, I'll see if I can figure out a way to use it for another purpose. And to be honest, this as a primer has been the best thing ever. So, I put it on, it doesn't look like it's blended in, but that's fine because it's mattifying. Oh, some under my nails. Nailed it. Okay. Sijacha ujinga guys. Sijacha. But I'm proud. So my face is moisturized and primed. Um, it doesn't dry out my skin, which is another, you know, you might have that as a concern, but it doesn't dry out my skin. It actually just feels nice and smooth. Then I come on with my foundation. Alrighty, so for my foundation, Kama Kawaida, I'm still using MAC, uh, the Studio Fix Fluid. I got shade matched again because they introduced an, another shade which is even closer to my skin. So before I was using NW46, but then I found NW47. And then while I was in Cannes, um, because it was summer, the sun, I, I don't know why, it just, I felt like my skin was looking very orange. So I also got NC54 
five. So I use these two together, right? So I think because of all the traveling, my skin has just, I don't know, because like the other day, I came back with like a burn on my shoulder. Can you see? It's like going back and forth between summer uko and then over here, it's just cold. My skin is so confused. It's so confused. So it makes sense to use two shades and then I can usually put more of one or the other depending on where I'm at. Of course, I put them on the back of my hand. And then we can talk about the first goal that I had earlier this year, which was to get closer to God. I think, you know, I've been doing pretty good. I pray a lot. I pray a lot. And the thing is, I pray anywhere and everywhere. So I talk to God a lot. It feels like I have an imaginary friend that I'm always in a conversation with. I'm at a point where I even laugh at myself sometimes because I'm like, Patricia, you're at a party. It's two in the morning and here you are talking to God about something. <laughs> but I love it. I love that that is the space that I've found myself in and it feels like having somebody who I can just turn to for guidance or even just to vent or to, to dump my thoughts on and sort of just get clarity in whatever moment I'm in. I really enjoy that and honestly that's just made me a bit more accepting of situations that I find myself like I'm usually like okay fine this is happening God I trust that you are in control of this situation and I trust that you will reveal to me why a certain situation is happening so I definitely have gotten closer to God and I'm super happy and I'm just trying to to learn even more about this relationship that I'm in with God obviously I am still very far from perfect I'm only human um, I do succumb to human emotions and human reactions to things but the thing about it is I th the thing I appreciate is that I'm very quick to catch myself and very quick to see where my flaws are or if I'm in a certain situation and reacting in a negative way I'm able to catch myself even faster and I'm able to tell God yo okay I'm sorry please guide me in this situation two was to face my fears now when i spoke about facing my fears earlier this year it was mostly with regards to content creation and doing stuff that i had been fearful about doing like you know singing doing an album guy bona ni naka kama bom 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 jesus okay i think i might have put too much of the NC55, but not to worry. I think you remember how I used to blend out my, my makeup, the foundation. Don't worry, there's still the darker foundation to come. So I think I remember showing you guys how I also use a darker foundation. I've been going between the Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Oily to Oily Skin. This is number 365 and the Suzy Beauty SP90. So um, if you're new here, if you hadn't seen that first video, do not fret. I know my face looks kind of weird, but that is only because I'm coming in to blend with this darker one. But also I love how this foundation oxidizes. I'm also going for a shoot today, so that's why I'm doing my makeup a little bit heavy. So facing my fears was, can you see how dark it is? Yeah. So facing my fears, I think I haven't like faced them completely. Like, of course I still have my days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I did good. I think I've shared more content this year, not as much as I had wanted to, but I've still done what I can. I'm still trying to learn more about editing because I edit my own videos. So I feel like I've really been learning and people have really been appreciating. They can tell that I take my time with editing videos and finding music for the videos. So I feel like I've definitely faced some of my fears this year. I've done a good job of that, but there's still a long way to go. But I'm happy with my progress so far. I wouldn't call myself a YouTuber just yet, but you know, I do have stuff on YouTube. So I just feel like I can do more. I can definitely do better. I can put out more. It just means I need to, to up my game when it comes to time it takes to edit. And somebody asked me yesterday if I'm going to rekindle my music career. Yes, I am. I have been fearful about that, but you know what? I'm going to do it because what is a fear? Why are we fearing? Who is fear? Why? Fear? Go away. Next was to beat procrastination. You know what guys? Procrastination is a strong beast. I still procrastinate quite a bit. I was procrastinating on doing major things in my life. I feel like I've definitely improved and now I churn out content. I don't procrastinate. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm still a procrastinator. Proca is still very much a part of my life. But we've come to accept each other, so <laughs> I 
I don't feel like I'm going to entirely Excuse, that's a motorbike. I don't feel like I'm going to entirely beat procrastination in my life and everybody that I've spoken to still does deal with procrastination to some extent. But if you guys don't know, Proka is my alter ego. Proka, me toka medo. Proka is a very, very big part of Patricia's life and she's here to stay. And if you think that you are going to beat me, you are crazy. You are very crazy. You know I'm crazy over, crazy, crazy, crazy over. Again, it's a son of Anyway, it is what it is. So now that I've done the foundation, I wanted to, to try out this um, tattoo brow from Maybelline. It's long lasting tint. It's supposed to last about two to three days. And basically what you do, you put it on your, on your brow. It's kind of like a gel, a black gel. Okay, and I have somebody coming to my house to drop something off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this on and then sort of do the rest of my makeup and then maybe do my brows last. I've used this thing before. It makes your brows look fuller. And I guess if I had a stencil, then I could put more product. But I like it because it, it kind of just gives you more volume. What was I talking about? Beating procrastination. We decided that Proka is here to, to stay. Okay, moving forward. Consistency. Um, what have I been consistent at? <laughs> <laughs> I've been consistent at vlogging. I have a lot of content. For me, the main thing is editing. I really struggle with editing because I take a lot of time. I'm very detail-oriented as I'm learning. And I, I even thought about hiring someone to be an editor for me. But maybe it's just because I don't know anyone. Um, hello? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when be uh, I, want to, I want to go to Doctor's Plaza. Uh huh. Ah, Kenya, the doctor told me idea. Okay, we may fika kwa get. And you go get here. Okay, because Nikonda ni kidogo. It will take me maybe ten minutes to get there. So, ah, uh, uh, chef, are you coming? Yeah, just uh, come in. Just come. Yeah. Tell them. Yeah, I'll meet you outside. I'm coming down. Okay. I told you they would come as I'm doing my brows. So, brief uh, interruption, we took a commercial break because <laughs> my uncle was coming to drop uh, something and then he asked me to drop him off. So, yeah, I am driving around with my two Maybelline tattoo brows, uh, still in the process of tattooing. So, I'm headed back home. But this is so funny. This is so funny. Okay. Alrighty, I am back. So, <laughs> you know, when your elders ask for something, you say, okay, so I had to go. It's also given my foundation some time to just settle and chill. You see the difference now? It looks, I look human. Alright, so we were talking about consistency and I feel like I consistently vlogged so i have a lot of footage which now the consistency has to come into the editing because editing takes me a while and i really struggle with that i've been consistently working i've been doing some work and stuff so that's cool and i've been consistently procrastinating <laughs> Moving on to the concealer, I use a Maybelline um, Fit Me. And I like it because it's so easy to apply because of this wand. And then I sort of blend it in with a, this, like a sponge like this, which I got from Miniso. Miniso are like such a little cool store with such nice little knickknacks and things that you can find there. They have everything from handbags to sunglasses to essential oils to socks and underwear coffee mugs it's just a nice store i like it miniso a nice store so my next thing was declutter and redecorate <laughs> decorate i had to move house because my landlord sort of needed his apartment back so after nine years and three months of living in my very first apartment i finally had to move luckily i didn't move too far it's still the same area so the redecorating kind of had to come in by default i'm currently also in the midst of redecorating some more decluttering my gosh i decluttered before i left the other house but i still need to declutter some more it's made unpacking so hectic I'm still struggling with the unpacking to be honest. I still haven't done much. I just made my bedroom comfortable and the living room comfortable and haven't done much else after that. I'm setting with the Maybelline Master Fix um, setting and perfecting loose powder. It says that it sets, mattifies, blurs, smooths, smoothes, smoothers. Next was expand myself 
more and that was by reading more learning more to be honest i think the only expanding i've done is i've gained weight <laughs> i have expanded i have gained weight and i blame it on the travel you know when you travel to places like france where yani bado uko kwa ndege na wanakupatia croissant kukunywa every 5 minutes he has a cloisant. I'm talking about croissant. And you know, there's a lot of pastries and crepes. So the way I changed my diet last year and I'd been doing really good, I kind of just threw that all up in the air this year and I just didn't care. Threw my hands in the air like I just don't care. I don't feel too bad about it. I haven't gained that much weight, but I've definitely gained weight. But in terms of reading more, I've read a couple of books this year that I really enjoyed. Fresh Water by Akwaike Emezi. I've just finished a book that I loved that I got maybe eight years ago called Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I absolutely love that book, so I bought my own copy and I love it. I haven't read as much as I wanted to, but to my credit, I haven't bought more books because that was my weakness. I just buy books and then they're on my to be read list, but I never get to it. So I'm slowly trying to get through my TBR list, my to be read list. Next goal was to travel more. Yo, I prayed about travel. At the beginning of this year, I was just like, I need to travel more, man. The bug has bit me. And God answered that prayer. I, I should have been more specific. I should have said, you know, please grant me free travel opportunities, but they haven't been free. I just said that I would say yes to any opportunity to travel. It's been France twice. I don't know if I've traveled anywhere else, to be honest. I really can't remember. What am I doing next? Eyeshadow. So I'm baking right now. It's not something that I used to do quite often, but I started doing it when I realized it just sort of made my makeup last a little bit longer and not budge too much. So there we are taking off. It just sort of peels off nicely. Eh? It stains the skin as well. It looks like I've already filled them in somehow. It's not a perfect shape, but then now once this is done, I'll then now fill in the user Davis pencils super cheap they're like 50 bob 30 bob somewhere even or 20 bob don't you like this mirror it's from miniso it's so cute so for my brows you know i don't take them too seriously i just fill them in and you see how much simpler the tattoo brow has made this the next goal was to work out let's not judge people you know like you know we can't all be perfect so i didn't work out i have not even watched a workout video the closest i came to working out was carrying my kettlebell <laughs> and i was moving <laughs> but maybe i will in the last five months of the year i have a beach trip coming up in january a friend of mine is getting married in an island location and it's gonna be bikinis and bikinis and bikinis so I kind of just want to work towards a body that's toned, that I'll feel comfortable in. That's what my brows have decided to look like today. Sour. We shall go with it. You know, sometimes you don't fight it. You just allow your brows to express themselves. They don't look the same every day for me. I'll be honest. They don't look the same. If they're going to embarrass you, just allow them. I have some eyeshadow primer, but I can't find it right now. So I'll just use like a concealer like this one. Or even the Maybelline one. It's just, I'm not using the Maybelline one because it's about to end. Nastaki Kuimaliza. That's a LA Girl Pro Conceal. I don't even... Whatever color is fine. And then, next goal. Deeper, meaningful conversations. Oh, I've been having a lot of those this year. Speaking to friends about things and reflecting on life and, you know, meeting people and just talking to them about where they're at in their life. Are they happy are they you know, fulfilling their dreams and goals and things so that's been happening and i'm really really happy about that we're all in this we're all going through struggles in life and we just need to be a bit more compassionate to one another so sometimes ask people how they're doing ask people how life is how they're struggling with anything I've, I've been trying to exercise a bit more compassion so now i am tidying up my brows i'm using the concealer the maybelline one in this angled brush as you can see it's not perfection it is what it is put my phone on silent because everybody blowing up my phone Woo! today i'm popular <laughs> 
Hope you love. Oh yeah, we had the last one, money. And I'm still here doing my brows. Okay, we're gonna use this palette. It's my Ray Ray. This is what I use when I travel quite a bit. I love it because it has highlighters, contouring, and eyeshadows. So this, when I travel, I don't need much. So money. This year, I think I had spoken about wanting to, wanting to make more money to give more money and basically move it along the whole stagnation thing and the whole being a conduit manenos i think that's sort of what also influenced my travel because over the years i'd really been working and working and not really spending i mean the most i was spending on was bills and maybe you know a few things here and there like drinks or food or fuel or once in a while going out but i wasn't actually spending a lot so I had saved up and so this year I was like you know what now what if I die this year and I haven't traveled or seen the world or you know done things like yeah I am saving for a house to build a house what if I don't even end up making it to see that house <laughs> I know it's a bit morbid to think about but that's where i was at with regards to to spending money so that's why this year i kind of went a bit ham with the trips and now that that's happened and i've created a flow <laughs> of money um, i'm still working and I'm still praying a lot over my finances and over life so basically what's been happening is if I find myself spending a big chunk of money on travel I'll pray about it and the next thing I know God comes through the gig that pretty much covers that amount or something of that sort um, that that has really helped like I'm still working and I'm still able to keep in mind that I can still work and make money and not be afraid of being broke because I'm not a useless human being and I have things to offer. I shouldn't be afraid of spending the money that I have in the fear that it will end. I can always work hard to try and make more money. And it's not actually like I'm, I'm in the billions, millions. I mean, there's no gig I've done till today that's been like a windfall. But I've, I think I've been pretty good with my spending habits. Um, I don't chop money. In fact, I uh, I just save it. I'm quite frugal. This year now is the year when I was just like, okay. But also, guys, it's not at I'm out here spending millions on travelers. Well, I think people are also assuming that travel is a million shilling affair when really it's not. If you plan well, if you budget well, you, you can do it. It's something you can you can work towards. Just the same way you'd save for a laptop or you'd save for a car. I'm not the best at giving money advice. <laughs> so let me not give you money advice. Eyeshadow. Trick that I use. I spray Fix Plus onto the brush just to make it uh, wet. Let me use a pigment. This is a MAC pigment that I absolutely love. My gosh. It's so wonderful. This is the chrome rose gold color and when you add water it looks like a foil see it's such a lovely color as well look at that Woo! and the thing with these pigments is that they can be used as highlights on your lips you can mix it with your lotion to give it some shine or some element of glow it's a very fine fine pigment i got this in gold in this color it's like a copper I have it in pink this i got at one of the mac events they gave us as a gift so the thing with money is the thing that i learned is once i i'm not being reckless about money i'm not saying that i'm now fearless and i'm just out here spending money like i don't care about responsibilities there's responsibilities i do have responsibilities and i'm aware of them and i'm still you know working hard to make sure that i can provide for myself and also you know be able to come through for people who i should be coming through for i have two brothers one is working and one has just finished university so you know to be able to tell my mom okay don't worry i'll pay for school fees this time even though my mom is the sweetest she's just like no you should be saving for your house anyway basically what i'm saying is i had to reevaluate my relationship with money and that has enabled me to be able to to assist where i can you know to let it flow i mean i'd love to just have millions like to get to that point where you don't ever have to worry about money in your life again money is a thing and some of us have to worry about money 
but I'm not gonna let the worry of money define how I it's not gonna define whether I am enjoying life or not you know so I do what I can where I can I make sure I can fend for myself and I still put in the work to make more to make myself comfortable and this year I'm trying to learn more about investment opportunities, you know, how to make money work for me. I mean, I could work harder. I've realized that I get really defensive about people. When people come at me like, Connie, what do you do? Somebody came into my DM and was like, Hey, who's paying for all your travels? Hey, boo, even me, I want in. And I was like, hey. Yeah, ni kuna masiku ni namuka for in the morning. Kueda kazini. Na unataka kuniabiati. Let me not get too defensive, you know. I'm able to prioritize things like travel and to save up and spend on those things. Anyway, so with money, I'll be honest, I started panicking a little bit after this this recent France trip. I'm like, okay, Patricia, you know, you still have rent to pay. You still have da 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 da. And then I was like, you know what? It's fine. It's okay. I'll just look for more gigs, you know. I'm lucky to, to be a capable human being who can look for work. And I remember seeing that video that's been trending about this guy who's a singer and then he does hair, he does locks and things, and then he sells mandazis. Hustle game has to be on point. So now I can remove the rest of this. I think we've baked for long enough. Mac Fix Plus! So this kind of just softens the face. It'll set the makeup. It's not gonna get too shiny. I know I set, I set it and it was really mattified. This doesn't make it at a shine. It sort of just sets it into place. It maintains some of the matte look, but it also, it makes it look more skin-like. Let's finish the eyes. Of course, I line my eyes with Maybelline um, Colossal Kajal. I very rarely go without lining my eyes, unless I'm like not in makeup at all. Otherwise, I feel like I look sick. Then I line, of course, my eyes on top for the winged eye. I have two eyeliners that I've been going between. One is the Sephora Stylographic Fine Line. It's super, super thin. Ooh, it's super thin. I love it. And then this other one, which is a Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner. This one is good for the wing. It comes out, if you know, like how the the nini of a dog. Ooh, in a talk, a dog. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. But it's like a gel liner. In this thing that already see can you see and then it's silicone so it's soft so what I can do is bring it here and then I like it you know when you do something nicely and then you're like let me just go back for one small thing and then you mess it all up of course masikawa mascara so mascara Maybelline for life for life for sure Maybelline for life I've always used Maybelline but I discovered this benefit bad girl bang and the reason I, I bought it is because I was at Sephora I saw it and I remember Patricia Bright talking about how absolutely amazing it is and I was like oh since there's a small one let me try it out guys I wish I got the bigger one I wish I got the bigger one because this this is what has been making my eyelashes look like like they're false. I'll keep one one eye without mascara and then I'll do this one over and over okay. because you know also guys I don't just do at you one coat. It's almost over. Why didn't I buy more? And I've just come from that country. Actually I even saw them on sale at the airport and stupid me decided not to buy because I started panicking about money. <laughs> That's what. So we'll do a highlighter, my highlighter in the meantime. I got this sleek palette from Sephora. This sleek palette, si jayona hii kenya hii, sababu hii the sleek that was there. <laughs> it, it looks like this, it has some holographic colors. I know, they're weird. Green, purple, three what? These ones are creamy, and then this one is a regular warm highlight, and then this one is like pinkish blue. I never thought in my life I would put a pinkish blue highlight on my face. But then, this palette has changed my life. I'm gonna go heavy on the highlight just for the sake of the video. Kinda makes me feel like Nancy Moy. You know the Nancy Moy is such highlighter gold. She's just skin gold. She's basically everything gold. Woo! Woo! Right? So I like how it looks so far. Then, I add this, this pinkish one. 
there's something about the way it sits just a bit to be honest even since i started putting this one i haven't i haven't used blush in a while but i love it so much of course i'm gonna do another round of the fix plus now let's do my lips i have a few lipsticks from maybelline that they sent davis pencil Since it's already dark, let me try something dark. My lips had already moisturized them earlier with the boom, bam, Aramis. I'll do this really dark one. I haven't done a dark lip in a while. So this is the Superstay Matte Ink in Escapist. That's number 45. All right. I love the vampiness of it and I think it kind of goes with my cage bra look. So you know the trick about not getting lipstick on your teeth? One, you can put Vaseline on your teeth. I have this lip balm that's really tasty so I'll put that because you barely feel it. Then put your finger so you catch whatever would have caught on your teeth. All right so Wait, my dad is calling. All right, I'm doing my second coat. I'm doing my second coat of mascara. So now I focus on the tips, the ends. And I think you can see the difference now. Should I come closer? Mascara really makes my eyes really red. But you see, so this one is without. This one has. These are not thick lashes. They're just loved. They've been given the attention that they require. Uh, separate, come together. And the reason I give it some time is I wait for it to dry a little bit. Just the same way mascara is not at its best when it's brand new because it's the most liquid. You need it when it has a bit of like a sticky consistency. And then usually, hey, come on, you are doing so good. Wonderful. That's the side without. Without. So we can start putting on this side as well. Oh yeah, we're almost catching up. For the lower lashes, I had given you this trick of using um, waterproof for the lower lash. This is a cover girl, but I also usually just use a Maybelline waterproof one. So that if you cry, it doesn't smudge, tears come because the wind is blowing or something, you're good. Alrighty, eye drops. Drop top, eye drops. So after that highlight that I showed you, there's this, you see this trio? These two together. We now spray the setting spray because this is what now makes it look skin like. Woo! If you're getting all these products from one store, it can get pricey. So you can also just use rose water <laughs> as a setting spray it's also a good alternative obviously the mac one has been infused with such wonderful ingredients but <sighs> the rose water can also assist so i'll just wait for it to sit and then in the meantime blend 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 and we're good to go <laughs> and then what do we do with the hair we can just leave it oh i tied a piece of leather These braids were done at the Beauty Cottage. They're crochet braids uh, in the style of spring twists. And the hair, Linda of the Beauty Cottage, imports the hair herself. So you, you can't find the hair in the stores, but you can buy the hair from her. And it's $8.50 a pack. It's $2,500 for installation. And Boom, I love it because it looks like, you know, if I had natural hair that had grown, I like to, well, I know this, it would not look like this, but I kind of like this natural vibe. Woo! You know, to freshen them up, actually, I use this Marini spray. It's a daily spritz. I love the new packaging. It's so cool. This smells so good. So I spray it like I would natural hair and it kind of makes them look fresh. Because I've really, really mistreated this hair. But it's treating me good. 
treating me real good. It's so soft this hair and I can style it like it's look, it's so easy to style. So versatile. You can walk down the aisle. Okay, now I'm just now I'm just trolling you guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. You can like uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notifications whenever I put up a new video. And thank you so much for all the love and all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye. See ya. See ya. Koheliya kuwa nana. Tutana na next time.